I'm in the process of painting my kitchen cabinets right now. And one thing I decided to do while I'm at it is to take these false fronts, which normally just sit right here and cover the holes and you can't even open them, and actually make it into a functional space. Obviously, I don't have enough space to do a drawer because the sink's right here. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to add a tip-out tray, and that way I can tip it out and I can put my sponges or the stopper for the sink into this little space. Now I have two of these trays, which came from Revashelf, and it came as a kit along with the hinges that you need. And for me, for something like this, one of the hardest things is always figuring out exactly what type of hinge you need. But luckily, they all came together, and I'm gonna get started on it. I'm just gonna go ahead and warn everybody now to not put all your trust into this template. You're supposed to be able to line it up at the corners to mark your holes where you need to pre-drill for your screws. The spacing of the screws is just fine, so it worked fine on the frame. But the position on the back of the facing was way off. Oh, mother They are a little bit adjustable once you get them on there, but not enough for this. So I had to re-drill the holes on the back to make it fit properly. Not the worst thing in the world, but just kind of annoying. So with the trays, I didn't even bother with the template. I just did it my own way. This part is not easy. <laughs> this does make it easier though. I'll be honest, the hinges were kind of a pain in the ass to install, but it's done. And now for the next few weeks, I'm gonna be going, where the hell's the damn kitchen sponge? This, this is actually the second time in three years that I've painted these kitchen cabinets. The first time I did it, it did not hold up well at all. So if you're thinking about doing this project yourself, Consider watching my video about it first so that you can see what I did wrong the first time and what I did right this time. That way you can at least learn from my mistakes instead of having to make them yourself. 